Hey, what's up, y'all? It's Chevy Boy back in the channel, and we are on CSR Classics. So, um, really quick, those of you that have been on my channel long enough, I think a few months ago, probably about closer to a year ago, I did a video on this, and I intended to do, I guess, like a playthrough, but now I'm going to do it. So, um, here we go. Hey, you, welcome to Classics, baby. I hear you've got what it takes to reach the top of this of this league let's get to work all right winning a boss car is the ultimate sign that you're a serious driver so this is this is pretty legit man this is like so this is like CSR only it's like a 50s 60s kind of throwback you know it's like a retro version which is really cool which I like um, So, yeah, groovy. Now let's see you in action against a real opponent. So yeah, this is kind of... This is kind of like 60s, you know, 70s style, so... This is really cool. Is that an SL 300? Yeah, I know. So, yeah, no, basically it's like a retro version of CSR, which is really cool. Um, I like this. But, yeah, no, I figured, because, uh, I was finally able to download, or download this game, ironically, while I was on my way to, uh, the wedding. It's not all racing. Each time you restore your body work, your car gets better looking. Right. Until it looks pristine. And each tire and rim upgrade will fix your wheels, so get to work and turn some heads. Right? I only wish you could change your wheels in this, but you can't. Unfortunately. Um, when you go to buy a classic car, there are two types to choose from, loved or unloved, and this will explain it. Loved cars have already been worked on, so they're halfway to being awesome, but they're not cheap. Unloved is just what you'd expect. Dirty cars, dirt cheap. They need a lot of work. We have a contender, now listen, we're starting you out like any other greenhorn. So here's 25000 to buy your first car. Go and choose one. An Audi 100 Coupe S? No. Mini. The Elite S1. Oh, it's a Lotus. Holy crap. <laughs> 27k, not gonna work. Um, the Julia? Was this Alfa Romeo? Yeah, it is. Wow. Corsa, the Corvair. If I had enough money, I'd buy that. <laughs> uh, sorry, you guys. I sneezed. Um, my bad. Jeez. Oh, 48,000? I'd buy that Dodge truck. The DB2. Uh, the T Bird. Actually, I think the T Bird is the boss's car, if I remember right. 50 grand for the Bel Air. Good night, man. Um, the XK150. I could buy the Jag, but I don't have the money. <laughs> so I'm gonna buy the Impala. Even though, um, this is literally half the weight. So, instantly it'd be a better car. Actually, it's like a third of the weight. Good grief. <laughs> but it's also got, you know, 77 horsepower. And that's like... A third of the power? Well, wait a minute. I'll do the math in my head. <laughs> One. Carry the two. That's 231 horsepower. Right? Yeah. Something like that. Yeah, it's 231 horsepower to 255, so. Honestly, they're about even. Um. But then, what is the T Bird? T Bird's 3,300 pounds. And that big old heavy Chevy. 
is 4,000. You know what? I'm buying it in the purple. I know I did that last time also, but I'm going to. So, yep. Chevrolet Impala. Chevy Chaser. This one's on the house. Sweet. Great choice. Restoring, collecting. Restoring, racing, and collecting classic automobiles. Nice. Adding a decal. Stripes. Free. <laughs> Okay, so here we'll get started. Back button. Oh crap, hold on one sec, you guys. No. Okay, <laughs> sorry about that. No, the game forced me to backtrack my. Or to actually unlock my back button um, lock so I didn't accidentally, like, kick the game out or anything. Your decal options increase, you restore. Or your decal options increase as you restore your body work. Yep. Okay. Cool. Now, I can't upgrade anything. But, you know, here's just some stuff. HT leads. What, what the heck are HT? High performance coil and distributor increases brake horsepower. Four barrel carb. Yep. Uh, long tube. Er, stainless steel tube header. Or er, tube exhaust manifolds. Nice. Uh, trigger for two seconds. Okay, cool. So yeah, no, that's basically... Season is ended. Collect prizes. I wasn't even here, like, that's the crazy part. User. Congratulations. I was runner-up. whoop de doo I got ten gold. I... <laughs> This is crazy, because I think it just, like, gives it to you. I think it gives these to you, to be honest. So you get, like... Oh, good grief. 35 grand? Again, I could have used that. Alright. Well, you know what I'm gonna do. Again, this is not cheating. Um, as I said, first time I was playing through this, what I'm doing is ensuring that I win. A rust Buster, baby. Alright. And I got 10 gold, okay. So in CSR, normally it's like. You get, um. How much gold did you get in CSR? I forget, you get like two gold for every level up or something. Stage three fitted. Powder coated and grooved slick tires. Hold on, I actually have to go back and see what this is. So stock part, yep. Surface wheel rust reduced. Premium road tires fitted. Wheels and wheels scored. Sports tires fitted, improving tires reduced. Wheel spin, okay. Wheels sandblasted and soft compound sport tires fitted reduce wheel spin. And that is uh, <clears throat> an import part, so. I mean, I could use that, but I don't know if I want to at the moment. Oh, now I want to go back and show you guys what this is. Uh, final paint coat, applied and lacquered, engine bay weight removal, further internal weight stripped. Bodywork filled and sanded, internal weight strip, initial rust removal, spare wheel removed. Okay, so I mean, you guys get the idea, right? Nice job. Eh. No thanks. I'll do that uh, probably for the thumbnail. <laughs> City map, yep. Okay. So actually, you yeah, know, let's get into this. What are we racing? Is that an old Bel Air? Yeah, it's the old 40s Bel Air. Nice.
Come on, reach 90? No, 86. Not bad. Night shift. <laughs> that was a quarter mile, right? Yeah. I hate to see what it would have made. Probably would have made a 20 second pass. Without all the weight reduction in the tires and stuff. Uh, pretty good, but now we're about to get real. Head to the map screen and take us on the city's best drivers in your first crew battle. Alright. See what they got. Sam Slick. So yeah, like I said, this is basically... Uh, there are five crews in the city, all racing classic cars. Each crew controls the city district, their turf. You'll need to collect and restore classic cars to race them. Defeat four crew members and the crew leader to move up. And ultimately wear the crown of the fastest racer in the city. For now, focus on winning prize money. Sam plays his shit. Uh, bleh, Sam plays his stick shift. Shift stick. Sorry. I didn't mean to say that the. You know what I mean? Shift stick. It's a stick shift. Makes no sense. Uh, like a jukebox. You do know what a jukebox is, right? Yeah. No, I know what a jukebox is. I've been to a few, uh. 50s style diners. Uh, 128 shift, not not the other. Did not mean to swear. Yeah, yeah. I'm pulling on him. I right, will. Oh, he's got nitrous. Never mind. <clears throat> I forgot to install nitrous. What am I doing? That was pathetic. Really? I'll show you, buddy boy. You want to do that? Let's go. You want to be that way. It's not you. It's your car. It's just, it just isn't fast enough to beat Sam Slick right now. Buy or earn some cash to upgrade your car. I forgot to put nitrous on, man. What am I doing? Too soon, Junior. A grand. Almost two grand for that. So what does that do? Four-barrel carb, performance manifold, okay. So it was a two-barrel carb, I think, to begin with. Rejetting of the carburetor for improved fuel flow increases brake horsepower. Twin carbs. Oh, so it's um, it's a dual quad. Nice. It's a dual quad carburetor setup. Sweet. <clears throat> and the engine. We'll do some upgrades to this. High performance camshaft. New spark plugs. Okay, so the distributor spark plugs. High performance cam. Poured and polished cylinder heads increases brake horsepower. Oh, I can't. That sucks. Can I at least do a little bit of nitrous? I think I can. Yes. Higher capacity bottle increases boost duration. Sweet, because I'm going to need that. Wet system with throttle body plate with 50 horsepower jets. Alright, so I have $1,500 left. <laughs> uh, see how this goes now. Ladder races. No, see, I'm gonna beat Mr. Sam Slick here. Sam plays his shift stick like a jukebox. See? Shift stick. His stick shift. Nitrous, yeah, yeah. I know, lady, okay? Oh, shoot. Wheel spin. See, he did way too late. <clears throat> I 
I beat him pretty easy. Oops. <laughs> Accidentally hit the raid it button. I'm like, no, don't do that. <laughs> Oops. Sorry, you guys. Well, well, maybe you can drive after all. No, really? What do you think? Crew challenge, free bird. Let's go, free bird. What are you, a hippie? No, I'm just kidding. Freebird has been with me since I started racing. He'll make your head spin like his wheels. You sure about that, Mr. Sam? <sighs> a 110 coupe. No, that's not a 110 coupe. That's a 100 coupe S, I think. Shut up, man. Yeah, that's a little bitty Audi. This thing has never seen taillights. How do I know that? Because even though I lost to that Impala, I didn't see its taillights, so. Looks like Freebird's own head is spinning. Time to give you a real challenge. Come on, Marco. No. Eh. <laughs> no. Not buying that. I don't care about the 70th anniversary of Ferrari. Lollipop Lucy, huh? I'm about to go with a daily battle instead. What are we racing? 3500 GTI. It's a Maserati. Crap. Am I gonna be fast enough? No, I lost. As soon as I realized that, um, as soon as I realized that that shift time was gonna take longer, I should have grabbed the nitrous on second gear. Okay, same car. Yeah, buddy. We tied. I don't understand that, but okay. My zero to sixty was faster. My time to hundred was slower, and so was my top speed. She was creeping on me, though. That's why. She was definitely creeping. <laughs> What is this? Ooh, it's a tier two Gran Torino. Nice. <laughs> the sense of speed in these cars is really good. Well good. I like the sense of speed. Tomorrow's total is 37.50, nice. Okay, I think I'm gonna do a couple more races. Maybe. Carburetor. And the engine. Ported and polished cylinder heads. That's the final upgrade I can do. Forged bottom end with high compression pistons increases rev range and brake horsepower. 291. I haven't even touched the transmission hardly. <laughs> Just throwing all this power at it. Don't even bother touching the trans. It's not good. Uh, man. I'll go after Lollipop Lucy here in a second. Uh, Lucy proved herself by upgrading her own car just about from scratch. All the boys love a greaser. Oh, I got that right.
but why the mini? I mean, yeah, your car's light. It doesn't have the power. Did I see taillights? Yes. Ranking me at pro level, eh? Alright. Lucy won't like that. You know what? I don't like it much either. Hey babe, I managed to secure a good deal on the Plymouth GTX Hemi at 75% off. Dude, a tier 4 already? I wish, but I can't. Sorry, babe. I hate those offers, though. Because they, like, they tease you with it. They're like, oh yeah, no, I, I've got this for you. And you're like, I can't. And they're like, but why? And you're just like, because I can't. You know? They're, they got you. They're, they're teasing you. But... Man, it's so tempting though. What is this, 240? Oh, it's the 100 coupe S. Okay. The back end reminded me of a 240 for some reason. But the 240 came out like. Ten years after this did, so. It's a big ol' heavy Chevy. Okay. So, I don't know, should I upgrade the transmission on this or not? Because I could get faster uh, shift speeds with it and everything. What is this, stage 4? Okay, that is, stage 4 is... Uh, next. So everything is pretty much boosted except for the transmission on this. Okay. Can I actually beat him? Oh, I can. Chet, let's go. You're better than I expected, but Chet drives a whole new game, you dig? Dude, you sound like you're from the Outsiders. <laughs> but that was set back in the 60s, so... Even though it was a film made in the 80s. <laughs> ah, crap, it'll spin. Mm. Come on, big ol' Chevy. Come on, big girl. No, oh, I lose. Piece of junk. Alright. No. You call my big old girl a piece of junk? His Corvair might be a piece of junk. No, I'm just kidding. Alright. Big old Corvair can't touch my heavy Chevy. The only reason I lost to it was because I had a wheel spin start. Alright you guys, um, I think it's going to be it for now, so. If you did enjoy this, let me know. Um, do you guys want to see another episode of this? Um, you know, let me know that too. But uh, you know, in the meantime, um, if you are new to the channel, please subscribe. Um, I am trying to reach 100 subs. I think I'm at like 79 or 80 right now. So uh, that's my goal for right now. Um, but no, like I said, if you guys did enjoy this, let me know and I'll catch you down the road. This is Chevy Boy signing out. Peace, y'all.